All right, guys, sorry I'm such a mess, but I just did my lawn, and I had to rush because of this nasty storm that's coming. Whew, and I wanted to have time to do a full demo of this machine. So part three of this, but it's not going to be listed as part three, but part three of this three-part series, but it's a two-part series, um, is going to be a full demo of my new mower, the Honda HRX 217. Okay, there's a few reasons why I chose the Honda over the um, Toro Super Recycler. One, 180-something cc motor. They call it the GCV 190, but it's actually like 186 or 183 cc's. Close enough to 190. The torque on this motor is phenomenal. It's almost equal to the Time Master 30 um, that has the, the torque that's supposed to be really powerful. This is like right close to it. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Um, it only weighs 10 pounds more than the Super Recycler coming in at 89 pounds and some of that weight is the strength of the machine things such as 9 inch wheels instead of 8 and all, which will give you a smoother cut and it won't fall in holes as easy that little bit of difference does make a bit of difference and if I could have find it with an 11 I would have got 11 inch wheels in the back that makes a difference number one number two Ball bearings. All these wheels are ball bearings. Okay, that's that's really important to me as well for longevity. Uh, that stuff's gonna last really good. Rubber wheels. I like that too. Really neat. The, this deck limited lifetime warranty. I know people say, oh, I don't know about this plastic deck and all that. And I said, yeah, well, the horse, horse and carriage guy, the horse and buggy guy, didn't know about automobiles either. And you know, technology, man. This deck limited lifetime warranty and I don't know of any decks that ever snapped in half on somebody but I do know that my steel deck had to be welded um, and I know that the super recycler is an aluminum deck and if something happens to that I can't weld it I don't have the means to weld aluminum so if it fell out of my truck slipped out of my hands if something happened I wouldn't be able to repair that deck and I think this deck is more forgiving in fact I don't know if you guys watched Alan throw his Honda onto the lawn, walk up behind it, squeeze the operator presence handle, pull the string and walk away. Never looked back. He said he didn't mean to do that, but he did it on film. Uh, that's pretty amazing. And that's rugged. I like it. The engine, the wheels, the deck, the warranty, the dealer close by, all that made a big difference. Um, and also the price. Somewhere around 600 is what I was looking for. This model was $649 on sale for $549 from Honda. Not a dealer deal for me. Nobody hooked me up. Nobody's paying me or giving me a discount. I bought this mower at All Seasons in Richmond Hill on Ford Ave. It was $549 plus tax. I paid like $583 or something like that. Out the door. They gassed it. They oiled it. They fired it up. They had it assembled professionally. Not at a big box store. And that's really good. Um, so the price, the engine, the reliability, the bearings, the rubber wheels, the you know, all that matters. Now, another thing was this Versamo. So you have this setup back here, this clip deflector. If you put it on mulch, it closes a door right here, and all the clippings stay under the deck. If you put it on bag, it opens the door all the way up, and all the cl clippings blow into the bag. But as you see, it's notched. So you can go from all the clippings blowing out to closing it some so some of the clippings stay on the ground and circulate back into the soil and reduces the amount of trips that you have to empty your bag which is a 2.5 bushel bag that's a big bag all right you can take the bag off and if you do you could side you can uh, rear discharge it right here this is open right here so you can rear discharge the clippings right here and you can put it in the middle so most of the clippings, some of the clippings, or none of the clippings stay under the deck and it discharges out right here. All right. I do a demo later, which was why I also wanted to mow first. I wanted you guys, I wanted to be able to use the machine so I can explain a little bit more to you guys rather than just showing you a brand new machine without even using it. Um, so the 2.5 bushel bag is kick butt. The blade system is kick butt. That Versamo, to me, was kick butt, man. I really liked that. I thought that was neat. Big motor, bearing wheels, rubber wheels, 9-inch wheels, awesome deck, price was right, on sale, dealer, warranty, uh, kick butt, man. Absolute kick butt. 
and 21 inch cut and then it's got the blade system you got the fuel shut off too but you got this blade system where you got that quad blade or whatever the heck they call it and you'll get to see how well that works and I just did some nasty horrible terrible stuff and nothing is stuck underneath the mower little bit right there where the chute is but that's to be you know that's to consider but uh, yeah that's underneath that's pretty awesome right there I man I did a fantastic job clip director so that's what this is all about so that's the mower I went with um, oh one more thing is you have a speed control here I have it pretty much all the way as slow as it'll go and it was plenty fast but you can open this thing all the way up and you're probably going to be running but even right here was plenty fast so there you go that's it that's what we went with man oh we didn't get the hydro uh, hydrostatic transmission and I didn't get the blade stop because I don't need the blade stop I don't care about a blade stop never used a blade stop couldn't care less about a blade stop um, don't want to pay for that and the hydrostatic transmission it might be much better I don't know but it would have put it over my price range that mower was on sale for 650 plus tax that would have put it closer to 700 my limit was six if I couldn't get this for the price I could afford then the Toro Super Recycler was going to be my next option but I couldn't find that with a 190 cc engine unless I went with four wheel drive and I'm not paying for four wheel drive because I don't want to pay for something I'm never going to need I don't need four wheel drive I don't live in hilly areas so that would have been a waste of my money in this area in the southeast all right so that's it that's the mower so now make sure you check out the next video and I'll, I'll put a little thumbnail at the end of this video and a link to it. In fact, I'll link to it right here too. The next video is a full demo. We start off in the front yard messing around with the height. I got to show you guys all different demos of the, the deflector using the bag, not using the bag, all this stuff. Then we mow the front yard and we just show you some basic mowing. All right, you get to watch the machine in action. You get to watch the operator work the machine or the machine work the operator for that matter. Um, and then we go to the backyard and that's where shit hits the fan like literally it's full of dog shit and the blades are like a fan um, but that grass was like like crazy it was the, the bahia seeds were up to my kneecaps and then when we cut there was a six inch difference at the three and a half inch height there was a six inch difference of grass to cut and so I put it through the paces we did it all we did everything all the different ways that you can mow this lawn we did it to see how it would work and if we could kill it um, so you have to watch strongly consider this mower however this is not a review I need a little bit more time with it to do a proper review all right so the next video is a demo check it out thank you guys and I appreciate your support and please give to www.dansvlog.com we're at about $1,900 right now. We got about $600 more to go to reach the $2,500 goal for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Those kids need your help. I need your help. So if I help you, please help them. Go to dancevlog.com with a V. Dancevlog.com with a V. Check it out. Drop a couple bucks, and I really appreciate that.